fractions, decimals, and percents. Part three, write each decimal as a fraction. Well, I have 1.11. I can move this over tenths, hundredths, and this becomes 111 percent. I can also write it as a fraction as 111 over 100 because it percents out of 100. I can move zero, I can change 0 0.043 into a, 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 a percent and a decimal, excuse me, a percent and a fraction by moving this decimal two places, tenths, hundredths. So that's equal to 4.3%, which is the same as 4.3 out of 100. So now we have a fraction, a decimal, and a percent. In these next problems, we want to write each fraction as a percent and a decimal. So I have 1 over 4, or 1 fourth. So the numerator goes inside, the denominator goes on the outside. I know that 4 does not go into 1, so I put 0, add a decimal, add a 0. 4 goes into 10 2 times. 2 times 4 is 8. I subtract, I have 2 left over, I add a 0. I bring it down. 4 goes into 20 five times. 5 times 4 is 20, and we have a remainder of 0. So 1 fourth we know is equal to 0 0.25. If I want to convert this to a percent, I move the decimal to the tenths, hundredths place, and I write 25, uh, excuse me, yeah, 25 percent. So we know that one-fourth is equal to 0 0.25, which is equal to 25%. On this next problem, we have three-fifths, and we want to convert it to a decimal and a percent. So I put the <coughs> three inside, the numerator inside, and the denominator goes on the outside, five. Five does not go into three, so I put in zero, add a decimal, add a zero. Six times five is 30. I subtract, I have zero remaining. So I know that three-fifths is equal to 0 0.6, and I can add a zero, which I know is, if I move the decimal two places, one, two, that's tenths, hundredths, that's 60%, and that's it.